guys, what's up? Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today's test drive is this 1946 Streamline Silver Street. It's an old Pontiac with a 350 under the hood. You got, uh, looks like power brakes on this one, no power steering, AC compressor, upgraded pulleys, uh, electric fan, aluminum radiator. Aftermarket set of wheels, nice interior. She's in pretty good shape, especially to be a 46 model. What we're going to do is take it down the road, point out flaws so you know what you get before you get here. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available. Go to maplemotors.com, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll check out the interior on this one. And somebody has already upgraded it. We've got aftermarket steering wheel here, too. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Coming across the dash, a little bit of character here. Got the gun hole, old navy up there, aftermarket gauges. Turn signal's already cutting on. I got the ignition turned back too, so maybe while there's a kill switch in the back, this may be drawing continuous power, so you would have to kill the kill switch. It does start right up. I didn't have to give it gas or anything. Tom Tom, old school right there. AC compressor just kicked on. Windy in here. It's actually getting cold, so yeah, it is working. We've got these gauges, and they are coming up on the dash. Oh, pressure gauge isn't moving very fast, though. Should have come up a little bit faster. Tilt column on this one, tack. All right. Place the bets. Do you think the horn works? Getting ready to try it out. Open up this console if it opens. I don't. I don't think that was supposed to flop up like that. I don't believe it opens. Back seat. Package tray. Headliner. Not so bad. Do we have gas today? It's showing a full tank. So I guess we do. Horn. Not that one, but the big red button. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to hear that in traffic, but hey, it's old school. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. And we're back. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Looking for my seatbelt. Safety first. Okay. Watching out, there's people everywhere on the lot right now. That neutral there. Neutral and drive. We're ready to roll. Okay, we got out of here safely. This is uh, the first time I've driven this today, that's for sure. I haven't driven it since we got it. I do remember this one from about a year ago. We get a lot of repeat trades from people. Somebody will buy a car and then they'll keep it a year or two and then they'll trade it back in on something else. That's what happened with this one. There was a lot of upgrades added to this since the last time we had it. Now, as we're going down the road, a little bit of a fade to the right. You can see it kind of pulling there. If I let go of the steering wheel, I end up going over that white line. So we got a little bit of a drift to the right there. Nice and tight steering. Not a single speedometer in here at all. Like, there's not even one on the dash. Getting in the brakes. They feel good. Something's rolling around in the trunk. And our throttle. A little bit of a hesitation when I put her to the floor. She's been pulling pretty good though. Back on our brakes. Now the engine temperature here hasn't moved. I'm still waiting on the gauge. I thought for sure it would be up by now. I'll let you know what happens with it. Also, I'm going to be watching my electric fan and stuff, make sure it kicks on. Um, also, I've been double checking for a switch or anything, but I haven't seen one. Once we get up here, I'll know for sure. Pretty 
pretty smooth driver. When you turn to the right, I hear a chut chut chut. I wonder if the tire's catching. Because I'm going straight, you don't hear it. Do you gotta manually turn off your turn signals? Get some outside shots i'm gonna check my fans uh, i want to make sure this temp gauge isn't I, I don't think it's working honestly let me switch up under there but what's this? gotta switch on the dash there Regardless, we're going to check everything out and I'll let you know. It looks like our batter gauge is working, our wool pressure is good. I'll be back with those undershots.
go guys we'll go ahead and shut this down oh gotta lift up on the little latch that they installed here get her shut now we're gonna take off down the road here test drive has been good so far all right the temperature came up it is working electric fans on it's cooling we're ready to go turn it so often the suspension pops in the front right there and if I turn it all the way all the way you can hear it grinding in the inner fender well there it's hit something over here too I don't know sub bump underneath if you turn it all the way just normal driving's good but if you go all the way it is bumping against something Here we go. Been a pretty good test drive. Really, I did the walk around in the parking lot. I think that's the worst part. It had some scratches. Uh, it had some pitting on a lot of your chrome. That's pretty much it. Good driver. I did see a little bit of rust in the back right on the lip or the trunk at the bottom where the trunk meets I'll show that at the end that's why I tell you to stick around for picking out the flaws you see it does run and drive pretty good the kick down's not hooked up because I can put her to the floor there and it doesn't shift down well, with that being said, I can put her to the floor now that she's nice and warm. Got to turn off the turn signals manually. I keep forgetting. I had it on all the way down the road. But if you get it nice and warm, it takes every bit of that gas. It's ready to roll. Got to turn it off again. Bumping the road. A little stiff in the front. Getting in on our brakes. The road, the road's got a bunch of bumps in it here at the red light. Hey, I think it's my van. He's out working on it. I sold one of my old vans uh, not too long ago here on the lot. And I got a new van. I had him do the same thing. He takes it in. He replaces everything, even if it don't need it. And then gives it back to me when he's done. Not everything, but like starters, water pumps, just all that stuff. I don't want to run into any problems. So I have that done in service on my personal vehicles. I know it's a little extreme, but hey, I'm going to drive it all over. Might as well make it right. Now this one here, seems like it's pretty good. I think it's ready to go. If you're interested, give us a call, 615-822-4444. You can look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing, shipping is available on stuff like this, and the whole lot's like that. So, hopefully, we hear from you guys. If you're calling to talk to me, I'm probably out doing test drives. Most people will call and try to talk to me, and I'm usually not in that office. Now, we got salesmen in the office, and we're all family. So, give us a call. Thanks for watching. Picking out the flaws, coming up next. Okay, here we go. Looking for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Hopefully the wind's not too crazy. It's been, uh, it's been very windy for like five days now. I'm ready for that to stop. Starting in the front. Got dimples in the bumper up here. Couple chips. Light little scuffs up here. 
front grille on this one's got some pitting. Got some chips right there. Headlights. Headlight bezels look good. A little scuff in the corner. Coming around the side. Crack up top. Light scratching on the side. It should come out with a buffer. This car's not in perfect shape. We know that. Like little scuffs on top of the paint now. It should wipe right off with a buffer. I'm just going to look for the main stuff. Like that chip there and that chip there. You can't wipe that off. Crack here. Also there. Touch up marks. Bubble in the corner. Little scuffs here. Scratches. And some marks on the side, a little chip. Coming back, a little crack there, scratch on the side. Chips on the edge of the door. spots there One chip there got some white chips up top here I think I'm trying to make sure it's not wax or something yeah I don't know little white specks there Front windshield looks good. Little dings around your trim, cracking your pillar. Old glass on this window. Cracks up here, pitting on your door handle. Light scuff, dimple. Cracks in the paint, you can kind of see it. I'm trying to make them stand out better. Your jams there. Cracks. Spot there. All right, coming up on the back. So we got a fuel cell here. Got a kill switch there. Got some carpet underneath. Let's keep on looking here. A little buggered up on this edge. Battery tray. I don't know why that speaker's down there. There's two up here though. Maybe it's just an extra one somebody threw in. Let's look at it. <laughs> it's hooked up. Maybe they just stick that out the back here and pop the trunk at the car shows and jam out. I'm gonna say that's what they do because that sounds cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the gas tank here. Looks all right. 
Whoa. A little gap there. A little crack. I think on this one you just pick up one more time. Coming on down. Does it lock? It does. Okay. Not like super tight or anything. You got some cracks back here. spot there cracks behind the tag a little bit of pitting spot here a little bit of pitting on the hinge in the back there Get some light bubbling on the paint above the trim Pitting on your tail lights. No gas. No gas cat. <laughs> little scuff there. Some dirt. Crack at the bottom. Scratch at the bottom, chip here, little chip there, little scuffs, Pitting on your handle here. Older glass there on the edge. Little chip. Touch up marks at the top. Bubbles. Made it around the outside. We're going to check the hood here in just a second once I shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Being on this hill, this door just keeps shutting on me. Not the factory weather stripping, that's for sure. looking at our carpet what's this tape I guess he taped the edge of the carpet up same with the entrance there we're gonna look under it though taped it down got some holes in the front there I think the rest of it's in decent shape but I wanted to rip it up we'll just tape her back down why not I like messing it all up don't I <laughs> That was perfectly hidden, man. Nope. 
I seen it. They go pads in the corners here. I guess where the seats didn't fit perfect. Whew. They've got the backseat cup holders in the 46. That's all right. That's even better. Engine temperature did come up. It's actually working. Full pressure gauge. It's so slow. It is moving, it's a very slow gauge. Motor's actually pretty cool. That switch under the dash controls these lights. paint mess up there. Let's go ahead and come down with this hood. You got a little bit of fitting in all the old chrome there on top. Shift in the corner. not perfectly lined up. She is locked. Right. Nope. Come right off. Okay, we're all done here, guys. Heading on back to the lot. There's detailed pictures at our website, maplemotors.com. Go ahead and hit subscribe and share this video. That's going to help me out and keep me in the game here. Makes it to where I could do this every day for you. I do love picking out the flaws, and I do love old cars. This side's sitting a little bit higher than I like. So I might pop the hood and see if I can get it down a little bit before I leave. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.